Hi again, it's Dr. Pasonic. I thought I would uh, chime in this week to talk a little bit about um, invention, which is what we're working on. I love inventing exercises and clustering and webbing are my favorite. The best one I've ever gotten was a student came in with an entire roll of butcher paper, you know that white paper that you, they put meat in in the store. It stretched out from one end of the classroom to another end of this classroom, and it was her webbing and clustering. It was so cool. She got 47 paper ideas out of that one webbing and clustering. So if you don't like it now, you might like it for another stage in your process. I recommend that everybody at least gives that a try once in a while. And plus, all of the other suggestions, I think, depending on how you think, how you work, um, there's got to be an invention exercise that works for you. A couple more things. Um, when you're thinking about paper topics, which is what all of these exercises are building us up to do, that big paper topic at the end, um, <clears throat> you need to keep in mind that your paper has to focus on something that is controversial and debatable. It has to be um, a big enough topic that you can find research for at least three main reasons research for three main points of opposition and research for three main. Uh, refutations. So think about that broadly. And I, I don't, when I say research, I'm not talking about blogs. I'm not talking about, um, you know, opinion pieces or Yahoo answers, but I'm talking about real research that we'll talk about whenever we get closer to that point. Um, so think about that whenever you're doing your pre-writing. What can you focus on that would be debatable and controversial that you can take a side on, but you can find research for the pros and cons in it? Um, a couple other things, um, when you are doing your discussion board post, please review the guidelines. You want to have at least 300 words or so uh, for your opening discussion post when you open a new thread, and about 100 words in response. So writing things like, yeah, I get you, that, and nobody has really done that, but that's not quite um, adequate enough. Your grades will be coming out from last week here pretty soon, and they will be posted online. I'll either email them to you directly or I'll post them on D2L. So be looking for that, and I'll let you know in the um, news in the information section. So anyways, I hope you're having a good time in the class. I know we just really got underway, but start thinking about your ideas so that as we progress through the course, it'll be less painful, I guess, than maybe other classes that focused on a research paper because you can go through it and what you're doing now directly applies to what you'll do then. So anyways, I hope everybody is uh, having a good time and a good week. Nice weather, at least around this area. So um, I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.